Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you guys another cool mod today, and this mod is Single Player's Command for Minecraft 1.2.4. What this mod basically does, it allows you to have tons of cool commands into your single player game. If you guys are familiar with the server, such as Essentials and Bucket, all of those commands could be available into your single player game using Single Player's Command. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. I'm going to go to Single Player, I'm going to go into any world I like, and you're going to notice right away, it's going to say that Single Player's Command has been enabled. But right now it did not show that message, but it usually does say that message, that Single Player's Command has been enabled. But anyways, if you press your T key, um, it's going to open up a chat. And in that chat, you can do whatever you like. You can spell a ton of commands that are listed on the forums, such as Game Mode. Just like that, press Enter, and there you go, now you're in Creative Mode. If you spell game mode again, you're going to go back to survival. If it's getting too dark, you can spell time day. And there you go. Maybe there's a ton of mobs outside. You could kill them all. Spelling kill all. Killed 65 entities. You could spawn as much mobs as you want. Look at the spawn list. You spell spawn list. Just like that. And it will give you a whole list of mobs that you could spawn. Such as the chicken, cow, wolf, squids. Let's go ahead and spawn ourselves 100 cows. Let's see if we can do this. Spawn cow 100. Whoa, there we go. That's 100 cows right there. You know what else is cool? The cannon command. Let's spell cannon 2. And it's going to launch a TNT towards them. Just like that. You know what else is cool? Binding your command to a key. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. I'm going to spell bind. And let's use um, the R key. I'm going to use the R key. So whenever I press R, it's going to set the command. So the R key is going to be cannon 2. So every time I press R, it's going to run cannon 2 as a command. Alright, now let me press R. I'm going to keep on pressing it, and there we go. It's going to launch a lot of these cannons. So you can destroy whatever you like. You can even destroy a creation that you made. This is a lot of fun. Trust me, I like destroying things. You don't like the weather? Let's go ahead and turn off the weather. You're going to spell weather disable. Just like that. And press enter. Now the weather is disabled. It's going to be sunny whenever you want. Single player's command isn't just about commands. It's about the world edit commands as well. If you ever had world edit into your server, you know what I mean. If you spell slash tool tree, now the tree command is going to be binded onto your hand. Now when you right click, trees are going to grow. You can turn it off by tool none. You want to cut something? Let's go ahead and do this. You're going to get yourself a wooden axe. You're going to right click one spot and left click the other. And you're going to spell slash slash cut. Then it's going to cut the whole marked off area. You want to put water somewhere? Let's right click here, left click here, slash slash set water. There you go. Now you've made yourself a pond. You want to copy and paste this pond? Right click here. And let's go ahead and left click right over here. Now we're going to spell slash slash copy. And we're going to come over here and we're going to spell slash slash paste. And there we go. So now we made ourselves two pawns. You want to copy yourself a house? Let's go ahead and do this. You're going to right click the lowest spot of the house. And let's go to the other side. And let's go right here. And now we're going to go up. We're going to get the highest point of the house. So let's spell slash up five. Now we're right here. This doesn't seem to be the highest spot. So let's spell slash up four. There we go. So now we're the highest. Let's left click this block. Now let's go over here and spell copy. So let's paste that house right over here. There we go. So we copied and pasted that house. You can change your player speed. Set speed 40. Now I want to see how fast I can run. Whoa, this is so cool. Want to reset it? Set speed reset. There you go, now you're back to your average speed. Here's a pretty fun command, let's go ahead and write ourselves a spider. You spell slash write at the mob that you are pointing at. And now you're going to be writing the mob. Look at me. You can write any mob that you like. You want to get off the mob? Spell slash write again. There you go. Want to fly in survival? Spell fly. And the speed, let's make it four. Woohoo! You can turn it off by spelling fly again. But watch out, if you land you're going to die. You want to climb any block without using ladders? You spell climb. Once you spell that, now you can climb on any block without ladders. Let me go ahead and show you. Look at that, that's awesome. Do you have like a ton of saplings and a lot of uh, seeds that you want to grow? And it takes like forever to grow? Let's go ahead and make these grow instantly. You spell grow 
and you spell all, and then everything's gonna grow. Whoa, now that was fast. So if you have a huge wheat farm, you could grow them all instantly. There's just so much you can do with single player's command. I can't really review all the commands because there's a whole list on the forums. There's like over hundreds of commands. But there is one YouTube channel that actually goes over a ton of commands. You can check him out. Click the annotation right up here if you want to check out his channel. He goes over a lot of commands and they're really useful. Alright guys, so if you guys want to install single player's command, which I recommend, it's a really fun uh, mod to mess around with. Let's go ahead and see on how to install it. It's really easy. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. Always remember that the full list of commands is located at the forum so you can check out everything you like. But anyways, before we install this mod, the first thing I'm going to want to do, of course, before installing this mod is to go here to Options and Force Updating Game. The reason why I'm going to Force Updating Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, always recommend to back them up. You're never too sure if single player's command is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, you will get a black screen and you won't be happy. So Options, Force Update, and Login to back up all our mods. Uh, I mean to erase all our mods because we're going to be downloading a brand new minecraft.jar in which we're going to mod. Alright, so I'm going to leave this updating, I'm going to wait till it's uh, finished, and then we're going to close this off, and then we're going to go ahead and install single player's command. We're going to install it the automatic way, we're not going to do it the uh, manual way where we have to go into the .minecraft folder, because they have a uh, automated, automated, uh, automatic installer, so let's go ahead and install it like that. Exit off your Minecraft game, okay? So let's go ahead and exit off our Minecraft game. What you do is download the file. It's going to be located in my description. It's going to take you to my website because it has AdFly download. And just get it from my website or you get it from the forums. You're going to download this and drag it to your desktop. Get the automatic installer. Let's go ahead and double click that and wait a little bit and then it's going to come out with this menu. This little menu is going to automatically install the mod into our Minecraft.jar. You have the options to back up your world and to back up your Minecraft.jar. I'm going to leave it on back up my Minecraft.jar. I believe there's no need to back up your uh, world as long as you don't use destructive commands such as slash Atlantis which you shouldn't be using because it will crash your whole uh, game. I tried it. Trust me. Alright so once you have opened this up let's go ahead and install version 3.2.1 right here. Just click the button and it's going to be backing up your Minecraft.jar and just wait a little bit and then it's going to install the mod for you. There's no need to go to your .minecraft and open up your Minecraft.jar and that's it. Do not start the Minecraft game from the start button. Let's go ahead and open up the normal way, which you click on the icon and start it up. The reason why is because when you start Minecraft from here, uh, it tends to be a bit buggy. I don't know why, it's just it doesn't work that way. Let's go ahead and log in the normal way, where uh, you just you know open up your Minecraft game normally. And go to single player and go into any world you want and you should get a message. You should get a message saying single player's command is now enabled. You can click on this link to see exactly where single player's command is. You click on that and you say yes and it will just take you to single player's command. See? Just their forum. It's basically that. It's pretty cool now you can click on that uh, chat. Anyways, remember that I showed you some of the commands but if you want to check out more commands go, go to the forums. It's really cool. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for supporting me. There's not much to review anymore. I couldn't review as much because it, it would be a very long video. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for supporting me. You guys are awesome. I like your comments, your likes, everything that you guys do. You guys are cool. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you. Hey, man, it's your buddy Porkchop. If you like the music in the video, go ahead and subscribe to Josh Woodward right there, the green box. If you like the review or the tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to my buddy SCM Owens. They're both nice people. They like me, they call me pork chop, and they think I'm really cool. Just look at my eyes, look what I could do with them. Pretty awesome, right? Anyways, go ahead and subscribe to one of those two. It doesn't matter which one, maybe both, you know? Maybe you're that cool. Come on, man.